hello good morning <laughs> happy tuesday um happy mid-february day after president's day i don't know there's so many things going on okay so i don't know if you got to hear yesterday's uh corporate leader lunch call which by the way these calls they're for you okay so they're for all of us um i love listening to the different leaders yesterday it was myself and katie months um but I love listening to the different leaders because I'm always learning and always growing in this business here in this company. Um, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, you're 10 years in and it just goes easy for you. Like, no, like I'm still <laughs> looking for new customers. I'm still trying to grow my business. Um, and actually for me at this point, it's almost harder. So, you know, I'm constantly staying in the grind and I did just get some new customers this last week. So all right, let's um, kind of just talk about that. Like, are you plugging in? Okay, that would be my husband not realizing what time it is. Um, are you plugging into um, everything that's available to you? Your leaders have Zooms, your leaders have calls, corporate has Zooms and calls. Um, one thing I kind of wanted to touch on that uh, Maria and I were talking about a week or so ago is we are not utilizing and sharing the corporate calls and trainings that they're doing for us for free as much as we used to. Um, we used to share them all over Facebook, not just in team pages, not just in chats. It was like Tuesday call, Thursday call. This is getting people invited to thrive. Do you know there's a Tuesday and Thursday Zoom or call every Tuesday, Thursday provided by the company that is other people talking about experiences. They're talking about why thrive? What is it? Because your friends don't always listen to you, right? Your husband doesn't listen to you. Your kids don't listen to you, but they'll listen to the neighbor. <laughs> so um, they'll listen to their teacher. But that's the same reason that we need to make sure that we're utilizing everything that our leaders and our um, company is providing to us. So Tuesday, Thursdays, and then also they have utilize your app, um, Laura Wells does those new tech trainings. Guys, these are the things you don't have to pay to learn about what's available to us and how to grow our business and what's on the internet because we have those things for free. And, and my son always says, you can learn anything you want um, through Google and YouTube. And I was like, who are you, Paul Gravett? Because he's called, Paul Gravett used to say it all the time. You don't have to pay for trainings. You don't have to pay for anything. You can learn anything for free on YouTube and Google. And he actually, my, he did graduate a year early with a 4.06 GPA, by the way. Um, but he hates school. So he was like, I don't need school. I can learn anything I want on the internet. And I'm like, okay, you're not wrong. But guys, yes, YouTube University. Guys, that is everything's at your fingertips. And corporate has now started doing these Tech Tuesdays and all these things that are in our app. They're in our cloud office. There's free training there. Everything you need to know is there. All right, so there's the housekeeping for the morning. We're going to jump right in. Um, we have two amazing ladies that have hit their uh, daily PPA, which, by the way, I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there. You should be running for anything out there. Um, I know sometimes the minute something comes out, you're like, <clears throat> excuse me, the minute something comes out, you're like, oh, I don't know if I can get that. Oh, I, I don't, I don't normally get 400 in a day. How am I going to do it now? And then, okay, first of all, the minute that happens, just grab it, take a breath and then breathe it out, right? You can run after anything because here's the thing. What if you run after it and you only get 150 that day? That's 150 you didn't have the day before, right? What if you run after it and you get 600 one day. Holy crap. And then the next day you run after it, maybe you get 250. 250 you didn't have the day before. So, and plus that's all going to the getaway. Like, hello trackers. Okay, let's get the trackers going like, woo -hoo. all right. So I'm gonna throw it straight over to Siobhan. I know she's on a time limit. Sorry, Siobhan, I'm like, man, man, she had a Kathy this morning. I have, um, I'm on day eight of detox, by the way, and I'm feeling freaking amazing, but I, I can't wait to get my throat back. Okay. So Siobhan, you hit your <clears throat> daily PPA. Is it how one day or how many? 
two. So you've done it two days. Okay. I think you can unmute. Okay. You're unmuted. All right. So you've hit two days. Tell us when, when that came out, what was your mindset? And then what happened? Mm, um, I'm on day two of detox. So if I'm a little squirreled, that's probably why, but, um, I don't know, I guess my mindset got shifted back to when bonus season came out because I saw originally the potential of how much money I could be bringing in every single month. I'm up for a $12,000 bonus and a $40,000 bonus. So, um, that's when my wheels started turning. And then this was just kind of an added like, Hey, now I'm going to give you this opportunity. And I'm like, Oh, $400 in volume every day. Like that I can do that. So, um, I guess what I've been focusing on. So January sucked obviously for most people. Um, so I took that as a learning month for me. And I just said, Hey, what can I be doing better to be growing my network? Because I finally three and a half years later, think I have exceeded my warm network. Um, so I really started focusing on um, deleting the dead people out of my friends list, people that I'm not connecting with, people who aren't posting. I started adding to my network like crazy and then making those connections with those people who I want to be thrivers, people who are already working out, people who are already on the right track with eating and stuff. Um, so I, I focus my time hard on those kind of people because I have noticed that the thrivers that I bring into, um, my business that, um, maybe aren't so much like ready to do anything. And maybe they just bought cause you know, they thought they were going to be able to take these capsules and lose all this weight and yada, yada, yada. They're not going to stick around. So I'm looking for the people who are here to make my business long-term, um, so I basically um, have been focused on connections. So this is one thing I want to say. When we were in Florida, I had a lot of conversations with people. Um, but not only did I just have those conversations with people, I made it a point because obviously we were on the beach in the pool. I didn't have my phone on me at all times. I didn't have my business cards on me. I made it a point to get out of the hot tub go to my purse, grab my business card, go back to them, give them that. And then I exchange phone numbers with every single person that I talk to because I said, let's connect because I know we're on vacation. Like it's easy to lose track of whatever. We'll connect when you get home. I figured out when they were going to get home and I reached back out to those people when I got home and I have three new, three new thrivers from that vacation. So um, that's one thing I would say is um, the connections, making sure you're making those connections with people other than Thrive related. Like I've been focusing on just your connections and not just business. Um, and the other thing is helping my customers that I already have thrive for free. Now, a lot of them aren't comfortable posting on social media. So what I started doing was making a post for them and putting it on my page and tagging them and just saying, hey, add this to your profile. So that way it's not them posting it, their name's still on it. And I, I just ask them, what are you loving about your Thrive? And they'll tell me what they're loving and then they slap it in a message and I make it into a post for them. And boom, there's a post for them and helping them thrive for free. So I've gotten two people to thrive for free that way as well. And then also you guys, we all know that if customers don't already have a spouse account, that's one way too. They can make a spouse account. They can get this promo. Um, and, and then it's going to be halfway thriving for free. And it's going to encourage them to start thriving for free. Um, we just need to find one more person that's going to thrive with you. Um, this is all stuff people probably have already heard, already know, but that's where my focus has been. Um, and then also I utilize my credits in my already customers chat. I just said, Hey guys, I have a hundred dollars in, in thrive credits to help you guys along with that last promo we had. I said, reach out if you guys need to make an order. And then I had a person make an order under a spouse account, helped them with credits and get this promo. And that was two days of the hundred percent daily PPA for me. Um, I hope y'all took notes um, <laughs> and, and we'll definitely have this recording to go back to, but guys, do you hear that? That is what we talk about all the time, right? Like continuing to make the relationships and to follow up, utilize 
the the network you have utilize the free accounts you have don't assume that they're seeing everything the company sends you know are you reaching out are you doing that customer service um that that is huge we've always said that customer service like the difference between like a walmart customer service and a nordstrom customer service level right are yeah. you are you reaching out to your already ordering customers and hey, I, because I always tell mine, I'm like, please don't leave money on the table. That makes me sick um, because I'm, I'm very much, I'm that person. Like if somebody's going to say, you're going to get it for free or you, you've got, you know, money here. I'm like, grab it, grab it, grab it. Um, so mm -hmm. I'm always going to figure out how to help them get that for free as well. So Siobhan, anything else? Um, one thing I would want to say too is like somebody asked over here, how do you talk to people to bring the conversation to the point of sharing number and business card? I mean, we're all out and about most of the day or at some point in the day. How many times do you ask somebody, how are you doing today? And you get the response, I'm exhausted or I'm tired or I'm hungry or you know what I mean? People, it's never usually like, I mean, most people aren't like, oh, I'm excellent. I'm energized, you know? So like even at Target, I've had the awkward conversation. I've held the line up, you know, and somebody's like, I'm on a 12 hour shift. I'm exhausted. I'm like, hey, let me help you. Give them your business card and add them on Facebook. Let me add you on Facebook and make that reach out to them. Hey, remember me? I was a lady in the checkout line. I gave you my business card. I just want to let you know I have my hands on something amazing. This was me before. You know, and that's how you got to like, you just can't lose that connection. In the beginning of my business, I got all these business cards made and I was feeling like a rock star because I was handing them out at parades and handing them out at dinner tables and all that. But then it was, I was a waste of my business cards because I didn't connect with those people. I just thought, hey, leaving this business card for them is going to magically make them want to order for me. Well, no, you got to make that connection and listen to what they're struggling with, you know, because finding out what their issues are and what you have. And then you can uh, connect on that level on what you have. So, well, and it's truly networking, right? It's yeah. getting and meeting and, and meeting new people and creating relationships with them. Um, I'm constantly anywhere we go, travel, everything. I'm constantly making new friends on Facebook or Instagram, right? Like I'm like, oh my gosh, we start talking or whatever. And, and they may ask about my DFT. They may not, but I'll always be like, oh my gosh, I love connecting with new people all across on my travels. Are you on Facebook or Instagram? And I'll just add them. Um, we actually have, we have a, a friend, a couple, well, they're a couple, um, but we met them at a concert and they live a couple hours away from us, but now they're, they're like our concert friends. Like we meet up, we go to concerts all the time. We, we didn't know them. They were strangers. I'm still working on getting them to thrive with me. Um, but then I have people that I've met that were not necessarily friends, but they ordered thrive from me. So, mm -hmm. you know, you just, you just never know. Um, right. so creating the relationships in person and online, you know, again, going back to the groups, are you, you know, I'm in all these groups that pertain to me, moto mom, um, lineman, mom, <laughs> parents of college age kids, mom, you know, all these things. And, um, I'm meeting people in those groups all the time. Doesn't mean they're going to thrive with me, but we would create relationships. And then I see in some of these groups, all these people asking about, Hey, what are we doing for part-time money? What are we doing for side gigs? And I'm like, hi. So, you know, there are people there and you have to create the relationship. You can't just jump on those posts because then people are like, whoa. But if you've already created the relationships and they see what you're truly doing, then when they need it, you're in their mind, you're in their eyes, you're in their feet. So, all right. Thank you, Siobhan, uh, well, so much. One oh, thing I was going to add really quick, um, this just goes to show you. So my newest promoter that I have that came in with a 400 kit, her and I's relationship started talking about protein chips. And then we were talking about the My Fresh Meals. We hadn't even talked about the products, but then she was like, girl, I have five kids. I'm a stay-at-home mom. My husband's business is, you know, just starting. I could use this. And I said, it sounds like you need an extra paycheck and something to keep you busy other than being a mom and she's like oh my gosh yes boom she came in with a 400 kit and mm -hmm. eventually she's going to order the meals but I mean it started talking about protein chips that see that's so crazy <laughs> like you just never know you never know what that foot in the door conversation is going to be um okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna see how you answer this Siobhan and then we're gonna actually come back to this question again later uh Sarah says how do you handle people saying I need side money no MLM Bye. <laughs>
Uh, you know, then I don't know. I always private message people like in all the groups that I'm in, everybody's like, I need to find a, ma a way to make income, but I don't want, you know, anything. And I always just say, hey, message me if you're interested in what I did. And then they'll ask and I, I voice clip them, you know, how I didn't start this. I didn't start this as a stay at home mom. I started this working three jobs, working it in the nooks and crannies. If, if you don't want to do this, if you decide it's not for you, you wash your hands and you walk away. But you never know until you try, honestly. And, and if they go for it, they go for it. I mean, those people usually aren't really that motivated to actually find something if they're already ex naying things that, you know, can bring them income in. Well, and I think too, it's that they don't know what they don't know, or they only know what they've heard. And unfortunately, there are people in the industry that have given this industry a bad name. So people think yeah. that, oh, well, MLM, I'm going to have to buy in and I'm going to have to keep paying money monthly. And, and we don't have that here. So I always just say, hey, I'm in network marketing, direct sales. We don't have fees over here. If you're interested, hit me up. And I just yeah. kind of leave it at that. Um, and then they'll, it, it's up to them. They'll go snoop my profile and then they'll be like, okay, look, this, this chick looks like she's done something here. And so then, you know, then they'll come over and message me or whatever. Or I'll kind of follow up and see what's going on. Um, I don't get in on the ones that like, if they're all bashing MLMs, I'm just like, I'm here. You want it? You don't, it's fine. Um, it doesn't hurt my feelings. And I think that's a big thing is that you have to remember that, People don't know what they don't know. And, mm -hmm. it, and you can't let it hurt your feelings based on what they know. It's kind of like, you know how um, maybe you're in a room and you saw somebody and they just, for lack of a better word, they just look like a complete bitch, right? They're like standing over there and they look like that. And they just have that look on their face and you feel judged by them and all the things. And, and then when you actually get to know them, now they're your new BFF, they're like super nice and everything else, right? It was just this, that first impression across the way that that's like this, it's, you know, people don't know what they don't know. Um, perfect example. I, we, Carson's racing arena cross and we were standing by this guy and he's one of the pro racers and, you know, he, he's definitely been in it a while. He's one of the, the top guys in that series and y'all. He looked, he had RBF, like, seriously, I thought, dude, this guy is an asshole. Like I hadn't even talked to him, nothing, but just standing there, he looked so mean. Jason walks up, just starts talking to him. He said, says, I don't know, not make fun of his boots or something. I don't know. It was just something. And the guy just smiled, starts laughing. Do you know, this guy is now constantly giving Carson tips and like, he's the nicest freaking guy. And I'm just like, Dude, I so prejudged him. So people prejudge network marketing and, mm -hmm. and we can't take it personally. We just have to show them what it is here and what is here. And, and people don't know that we're free to join, legitly free. <laughs> like you can actually start this business with zero dollars and run after an income. Like that's unheard of. Okay. All right, Siobhan, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, we are going to move right over to Joanne. Joanne, are you on? Can you unmute? There you go. I think go. I figured it out. <laughs> I was like, uh -oh, we, I didn't know if we locked you. Okay. Hi, hi. <laughs> hi. So okay. go ahead, tell us, same kind of thing. Like when this first came out, what were your first thoughts? And then where did you go? Uh, when it first came out, I thought, oh, I got to close those rings. <laughs> I got to close all my rings. Um, so I, I'm very competitive that way. I'm actually a very nurture in nature, you know, when you first meet me, but yeah, I have a lot of action too. So um, J January was a slow month for me as well. So what I did is exactly what Siobhan did. I did some learning and stuff like that. So you're going to be so proud of me, Amber. I got me some organization. We got lists, we got everything, follow-up. So for me, I travel all the time. I'm in my car 20, 30 hours a week. I'm in different states. I'm all over. So I also plug into online vendor events. So I made sure that I'm keeping track of everybody. I'm following up with them. I'm being intentional and being consistent. Um, I have made some really good contacts 
And that's where, I mean, and one day I just was very intentional and I got three orders. I did have to drive to some weird guy's house. I did bring some people with me. <laughs> he lives by me and he's like, I don't know how to do this. And I'm like, you know what? This is the last order I need. I'm coming to see you. It was way out in the country, a little scary, but we live in Florida. So um, I brought some people and he's going to be a great customer. He might actually switch to a promoter. So definitely got out of my comfort zone there. Um, another thing is, again, just building those relationships. I have, I get very flighty. Judy will tell you, I get very off track. So I'm intentionally trying to just see how many times I can do the five, four, three, two, one, instead of thinking all these different things like, oh, I got to do this. I got to do this. Siobhan's doing this. Amber's doing this. Like I got to do this, this, and this, just focusing on those five, three, four, five, three, four, two, three ones. I added some numbers in there. <laughs> okay. So how then, what is your, like getting, getting this daily PPA, have you one, two, how many days? I've done one, but I have three orders in brewing today. Oh, okay. Freaking awesome. Two. That's two. You're going to be two today. Okay. So, um, what, yeah. So what are you currently doing specifically? I know you're getting organized. You're doing five, four, three, two, one. What is the next like in depth? Uh, plugging in. Like I was just on the training that I almost missed the zoom for. <laughs> so just really plugging in um, for me, it's mostly just organizing. I feel like I have the connections. It's just making sure I'm following up. Following up and consistency is huge. Um, I have so many and, and filling the funnel. Like I, my goal is two to five people a day in my funnel. And I was on, um, I think Susan was saying 10 to 40 samples a month. Mm. So that is my goal. I am at 12 this month. So we have a little ways to go. So that's just where I'm focusing. Um, I know from what you guys were saying, like, what do you do? So it, I also do uh, quarter auctions and I like to have different things, but I was just working on these. So this is kind of funny. So I have one day samples just of the patch and the thing with my QR code stapled to it. And they're in my purse. Okay. So when I'm out and about, cause I'm driving all the time, I have them scan it. We connect on Facebook right then and there. Cause I usually have my phone. But otherwise, I have my card too. So this is a good little thing to have with you guys. Awesome. Yes, y'all, I want y'all to make sure you're not giving anybody products or samples without getting their information. Like mm -hmm. you have, it's kind of like what Siobhan was saying, you know, we're handing out business cards, handing stuff out. If we have no way to reach them, then it's it's a wasted sample. It's wasted money out of your pocket. So make sure that you're getting, I'm not saying this to you, Joanne, I'm saying this to everybody. I know you're doing that. Make sure that you are getting their contact info and then that you're getting them created a, an account and tied to you. Um, Joanne, I want to back up. What is a quarter auction? So a quarter auction here in Okeechobee, there's lots of them, but I like the Okeechobee one that I do. That's why I live in Florida. Um, it's to raise money for a foundation or a person and we go, so I can, so we I have product. Oh, this is an in-person thing that you go to the in-person. So like, oh, okay. Is, okay. I thought you were saying like some kind of a group you're doing quarter auctions and this no. is where you're getting samples out. I was like, what? Okay. No, it's a great way to connect. And then like, I put things together and then they bid on it and then I get them hooked up and I've actually gotten a few promoters from it. Um, and a lots of customers. Sweet. Oh my gosh. That's so freaking awesome. Okay. I've got, let's answer a couple of these questions. Um, okay. QR code. Joanne, how are you doing yours? I just searched like free QR generator. Um, there's also, everybody has a QR code now, like Instagram has QR code. I think Linktree even has, you can generate your own QR code. Um, yeah, I just did the free one. I did yeah. an easy one that's big so I can print it out on my Cricut and put it on a shirt. Okay. Okay. You're putting on a shirt. That's freaking genius. <laughs> hey, and by the way, you can order them. Um, I'm probably through Etsy. I know Canva, you can order anything through Canva. You can create a QR code on Canva, by the way. Um, 
but you can get the sticker that goes like on your window, on the back of your car, whatever. So if you're in carpool, like how many people in carpool line can scan that on the back of your car and it links to like your link tree. Don't, I will highly recommend, do not have it just linked to your Lavelle website because that really doesn't, doesn't tell them anything about you or anything else. So get a link tree, a milkshake. I mean, there's a lot of those websites now where you can basically, you can tell a little bit about yourself and then you tell about your product and then you can link your Lavelle link on that. Um, but this, the QR code, you can have that go direct to you. Um, one of my girls has, um, I think it just says need energy. And then she has this, the QR code. So people are like, mm, need energy. And she's, <laughs> so they're scanning it in the, you know, carpool line or at the baseball fields. So make sure that you're kind of checking that out. Um, somebody else said something above. Oh, what about when they ask about a monthly cost to be active in lots of our advertising, we say no auto ships or minimums. Okay. So one, we don't have required auto ships. Some companies force you to be in an auto ship or you can't get paid. You, you can order if you want or don't order. It's completely up to you. Um, to be active, it's personal volume. So personal volume is either your own personal order or a customer order. And they've made PV back to $100. By the way, guys, if you haven't been messaging that to all of your promoters that probably weren't aware um, and probably were a little like, oh, it's $200 now. I can't get a customer. Blah, blah, blah. Right. So go make sure and message all your promoters that were active when it was $100 that maybe haven't been active since it was $200 and let them know, oh my gosh, did you see the change in PV requirement? Did you see um, the daily bonus? Right. Like make sure that they're getting that. I know sometimes kind of like parenting and with my kids, I'm like, Nope, the information was provided for them. It's on them. But at the same time, this helps your volume. <laughs> so make sure, you know, not everybody's as tuned in as we are. So make sure that you're reaching out to them. Um, so to answer that, there you do not have to buy something to be active. You can be active by a customer order. So hope that answers that. Joanne, do you have anything else? Yeah, I was just going to say one other thing, like when people are talking about um, I've been diving into personality things too, and learning people's personalities and how to talk to them. And I was actually on a zoom yesterday, like when people are get offended about what people are saying or how you're approaching them, just remember it's their personality. It's not personal. If that makes sense. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Cause you know, I was thinking, um, you can read or see the best post or the best reel or something about somebody amazing and what they did. And you're like, oh, this is so awesome. And then you'll see the comments and people are just evil. Like they're, mm -hmm. they, you know, you can be like the nicest person and they're still going to be like, um, I think, what was it recently? Well, you know, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, huge in the, in the space right now. Right. Um, but I guess he donated money for victims of the shooting and everybody was like he's so amazing blah 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 taylor donated money and the comments were oh my god that's all she donated oh she's a billionaire why couldn't she do more this is ridiculous i'm like wait a second like are what like so you just you can't what is that saying you can be the sweetest peach in the bunch and somebody's not gonna like peaches like it's just <laughs> It's just how it is, but that is not, you don't have to defend yourself to those people. You just have to find your people, right? Like your people are out there. Um, okay. Let's see. Roxy can't get on. Um, she's, she's getting a preschooler ready, but she did type this up. She said, I grabbed the daily bonus yesterday and honestly, it was hundred percent because I followed up and created urgency. I told those girls who ordered that they had to order yesterday. And I would also send them a little extra thrive goodie bag to them. It's the little things. People want specials with their orders. Fortune really is in this follow-up and creating urgency. I've had so many new customers this month because I've been kind of pushy with the urgency. Okay. So again, urgency, right? Like urgency, you have to run with that urgency, not just a, well, if it happens, it happens. Like nothing in life is going to happen just by letting it happen. It's going to happen if you make it happen. Okay. 
Um, Stephanie and Judy, I see y'all on here. Do you want to say anything? Oh, I asked to unmute. There you go. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. I can't hear them. What? Oh, she's shaking her head. Yeah. Okay. Um, so one thing will also what we did at the retreat um, when we were in Florida is if there was a time where I went to the bathroom and I did not have my phone on me, no samples, no, no nothing. Cause I didn't, you know, I didn't think I was going to talk to anybody. Somebody stopped me and they're like, what is that patch on your leg that all of you guys are wearing? Is that that thrive stuff? I was like, hell yeah, that's that thrive stuff. And then they're talking to me saying that they're they have a friend in New York that does it, but they've never really talked to them about it. So I'm like, well, I'm going to freaking talk to you, but I didn't have my phone or anything. I'm like, are you on Facebook? So he gave me his phone. I added myself to his Facebook. And then I sent myself a message I already sent him and his wife and um, their oldest daughter, all three day samples. And I'm like, Hey, you love these products. I'm going to get you thriving for free. And they're like, how come that girl, like oh, Angela or somebody Oh, it's canceled. How come Angela or whatever didn't give me all this? I'm like, maybe she's just not running with it. I don't know, but I'm running with this. So I would love to help you make money. And the wife was like, do you really make money with this? And I was like, well, I told her what I made. I was like, absolutely. I do. I'm like, that's, we, I'm at 36. We were able to pay off our mortgage. And I told her all these things. And she was just like, wow. Like, how come no, how come my friend didn't tell me that? So I was like, well, I'm going to tell you. So the thing is, is if you don't have your phone on you, ask for their phone, go add yourself, text message yourself a number from them. And that like everybody's saying, follow up is key. I got to get gas. Well, and I love that literally be bold. Like you didn't just go crap, I don't have my phone. I don't have anything on me. Can you follow me over here? You were like, I don't have my phone. Give me yours. You know, go inside and pay. Be bold. Or go to the next gas station. Judy, do you have anything to say? Um, nope. Other than, you know, it's, it's all about making. <laughs> Decline. Yeah. Uh-oh. Um, no. So just, really, yeah, that. Oh, I think y'all must be going between her car microphone and your phone thing. Cause your, your voice keeps going in and out. Oh, that's okay. All right. Well, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> All right. So Amanda, are you, do Me? you want to say anything? Hi. <laughs> Hey guys, sorry, I look a mess, but here's the thing. I realized that I was holding myself back and I went through this past weekend and I was looking at my social media and I was like, I'm sharing, but I'm not asking. And I want you guys to realize that a lot of you are doing the same thing. We talk about what the products are doing for us, but we're not asking people to jump on board with us. We're not asking mm -hmm. people um, to get started. We're not asking people or telling people what they can accomplish with it. So just since um, this past weekend, I was having a lot of conversations. There's a lot of people. I was just telling Amber right before the Zoom, um, I had messages coming out the wazoo all weekend. I could not even keep up with them um, from promoters that have not promoted since 2021. Okay, so the world has shifted a lot. And a lot of people, I think, got offline for a bit. And they forgot um, what they felt. All right. And that's a common trend that I'm hearing from all of them is they forgot how good they felt and it's coming up in their memories. And they're like, they wanted to, like, they took advantage this past weekend. Almost all of them took advantage of the promo, the Prez promo, because, um, and I'm talking like even people, there was somebody that hadn't ordered since 2019 as well. And they all took advantage because they were like, they saw in their memories how good they felt, right? So when you're going through your memories, comment on those posts and say, hey, I would love to do this again with you, or we should do this again and bring them back in and let them know. And I said this last night on my Zoom, but try not to overcomplicate all the things on the table. I know a lot of people are like, I can't even keep straight. Listen, when somebody gets started with me, I focus on thriving free and VIP 400. Once we get past that, then we go to the next thing, which is VIP 800 and then VIP 1600 until somebody is showing that they're willing to share or they're willing to talk to people. We don't get into the complicated. And then guess what? Once they sign their first customer, listen, we're almost halfway to earn this first 
daily bonus, right? So we want to start creating this urgency behind it. Roxy is spot on when she said that. First off, if you don't create urgency right now, you guys, it's like um, a ticking, not a ticking time bomb, but like the clock is ticking on us hitting these rank advancements, hitting the day, like every day from the time the day starts till the time the day finishes, you have to get that 400. And then the same goes for the weekly bonus. Like literally it's $2,400. If you hit that daily bonus every single day and then you hit the 200 or the 2000 weekly, okay? That alone is $9,600 a month just for the daily bonuses and the weekly uh, 2000 bonus. That's like, so it's like $200 a day and that's $700 in credits. Like that's crazy. And that's not even counting the 20 customers that you probably are going to hit. Now, granted the 20 customer acquisition and the 40 customer acquisition, you have to have orders of 150 and above. And don't forget to, you know, check credits. But listen, guys, you shouldn't be giving more credits than what like shipping cost is or anything like that, unless you want like people to reorder, right? So like, I know every now and again, we throw in a higher one and we might do a half back or something, but you want to do that on very rare occasions and people that you know are definitely going to be reordering regardless and helping those people thrive for free. That's how we want customers to get their credits is by getting referrals. And I love Siobhan um, saying that, you know, the people that wouldn't post, she's tagging them and then just asking them to comment. And that shows up on their friends' timelines. Their friends are going to see their comment on that post. Okay. And then when their friend asks, Siobhan can do the work and make sure they get their referral link and everything else from there. Because remember, the customer is a customer. Um, and sometimes they just don't want to to share or they're not comfortable with sharing. So think outside the box, really pay attention to the people that you see are being shouted out um, right now for hitting these rank and make sure you're celebrating everybody. But when you see somebody that is being shouted out, do not take it as, man, that must be nice. Or, you know, just like when you see people hit rank advancements and so forth, here's what you have to say is that if they can, I can, what do I need to do in order to make that happen? And a lot of us, just honestly, and I say us because myself included, um, we're just not intentional or consistent with what it is that we are putting out there. And you do not have to do all things, but you do have to set your, your mind to what you want to accomplish. And then what do you need to do in order to make that happen? So if you're trying to get customers, then you need to post about the stuff that's going to get customers, right? If you're trying to get new promoters, then you need to post towards getting new promoters and then what's in it for them. They're not just going to join you to join you. They they need to know why they're going to join you. Is it going to help them pay for their gas? Is it going to help them buy groceries this week? Um, or with the meals right now, you guys, listen, this is a free opportunity. And as Amber said, when we get our customers, that's what makes us qualified and active. That's what gets us our commissions. So literally, we don't have a website fee. We're qualified and active based on our customer base. And we have the opportunity to literally bring in $2,400 a week, not even counting the rest of our commissions, just on these daily incentive bonuses that we have, and then the rank advancements and so forth, right? So I guess what I'm saying is you can't make people work. You can't make people sign. But what you can do is control your attitude and your effort behind it. And then writing down that goal and literally the action steps it's going to take to get to that goal. Um, and then just every day, just hit the reset button. And I just shared a post I made last year. And it's like everything that you unplug will re like will work again when you replug it in. So if you've been somebody that's been sitting on the sidelines or not believing in yourself because we can all get in our own heads, especially when people quit or drop off or whatever, just remember it literally every single day, somebody new joins this business that is going to be a millionaire eventually in this company. And I mean, not every day does a new millionaire join, but every day there's a potential for somebody that's going to hit millionaire or somebody that's just able to keep their lights on this month. All right. So either or I don't really care if somebody wants to be a millionaire or they just want to buy groceries for their family. Whatever it is, my goal is to help them achieve it. So anyways, all right, I'm done. OK, so <laughs> I love you. So with that, um, somebody asked, how do you all create urgency? I know everyone has different ways. So one, like Amanda just said, so and, and let me kind of grab that. You can't create urgency for somebody else. 
Like that's on them. You, you can lay it out. You can tell them, which I'm struggling with this with my 20 year old right now, y'all. Um, I'm just like, Oh my gosh. Like what do you not see the need for urgency right here? Like go get up and go do the things you need to do. Um, and he's like, Oh, dude, when okay, blah, 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 you know, whatever. Right. You cannot create that urgency for somebody else. Like I want to drive them to Mexico and push them out of bed, but I can't. So we're all adults. And it's on you to create your own sense of urgency. So in, in, when I take in that definition and meaning of creating urgency, it's like Amanda said, do you need to pay for your grocery? Do you need to pay gas? Are your kids having camps coming up this summer? That money is due soon, right? Summer's still around the corner, but you know, everybody wants their money now. Um, that that's the urgency that was created for me was, I want this bonus. I want to get paid on Tuesday. I need to pay down my medical debt. That was creating the urgency for me. So I was running, right? We have these trackers in place. We have these bonuses here. It's up to you how fast you want to run after them. And then from that is when you go, okay, I'm getting back to the basics. I'm making sure I'm exposing as many people to the Thrive experience as possible. I'm reaching out. I'm touching people. I'm sharing Thrive in my in my Facebook. I'm sharing Thrive in my stories. I'm sharing Thrive in my Instagram. I'm doing TikToks, whatever, all the things. I'm wearing my DFT where people can see it when I'm out and about, no matter where I'm at, no matter what I look like, right? Like you need to make sure people see you and go, that chick has something different about her. That guy has something different about him. That that's what the Thrive Experience exudes, right? We're different. We're happy. We have energy. We're we're not cranky. Um, if you're all negative and woe is me on your Facebook, you ain't looking like a Thriver. So just <laughs> you need to make sure and kind of do a self assessment on that. Um, are you excited sharing the product? Are you excited sharing the opportunity? If you're not, figure out why and get back to being excited, right? We have so much here right now. Like Amanda just said, there's no reason to not be excited. Um, if something went wrong, if a customer ghosted you last week or yesterday, that was last week or yesterday. You have big goals. You have big goals to run after now. Um, and then somebody else said about... Um, Oh, if they don't want to create a free account. I don't know where that went. Um, I think I took a picture. Stand by. They don't want to make an account until they get ready to order or something yeah. along those lines, I believe is what it was. So I just say, okay, I would love to let you know when we're having specials. Um, can I just message you then? Mm -hmm. Maybe they don't want to create a free account right now. I can't force that. Some people denied a free account for years. And then when they were ready, they were ready and they, and they placed the order. You can just be their friend, create the relationship, keep commenting, keep posting, let them know why it's so great here. How could you feel? It's all the same, just over and over and over. But um, the deal is if they get a sample, they have to create the account because that's an exchange. So you want to always put value on those samples, guys. Even if you're doing a giveaway of some sort, you want to create, a like you still want them to create an account mm -hmm. and you still want to create some kind of funnel system that you're going to be following up with them when they get ready to, you know, try the sample and plug them in. Like I like to still invite to the Lavelle fan page because Lavelle's always posting stuff and stories. Like Amber said, it may not be you that convinces them, but they might see a story that um, really relates to them. And I always think back to Chas sharing about the adrenaline and the guy jumping out of the plane, that testimony, um, you know, that is not something I'm going to relate to because I'm never going to, you're never going to catch me jumping out of a plane, <laughs> but it might be somebody else that, that mm -hmm. wants to feel that way and wants to feel alive. And I want to touch on somebody mentioned over here, you know, there's so many things going on, like where to start. Honestly, guys, just five, four, three, two, one. If that's even too overwhelming, what is your goal today? And then what actions can you make? Like posting, doing birthdays, interacting mm -hmm. with people, reaching out to some customers, just anything to put yourself out there is better than nothing. Remember progress over perfection every single time and you're going to make progress. Amen. And okay, so Angela Bebe just said, I told someone I wasn't sending a sample if they don't create an account. They didn't want to at first. I also told them it helps me to keep track. They can also go read more about the products. You help me, I help you. Remember, you're the provider, set boundaries. Don't just go, 
oh, okay, well, I'll send it. I understand. No, no, no account, no sample. Like that's, that's it. And, you know, people will respect your boundaries when you set them and they may go, oh, okay, I really don't want one. Okay. No problem. When you change your mind, let me know. I'm just over here feeling amazing. Like, you know, let them know you've got something that they need. You have something they need. You have something that can help them sleep better, help them feel better. All the things, right? More energy, more patience. You have something people need, guys. And half the world doesn't know about us. So remember that there are people that do not know about Thrive yet. It's your job to introduce it to them. Um, okay, let's see. Is there any other? Um, yes, girl, get get the accounts made. Cause here, here's what happens. There are times that you send the sample, they don't create the account, they their neighbor, somebody else starts doing Thrive they sign with them, then there's no, there's no ties or recourse with you if you don't have an account with them. So, or they don't have an account with you. Sorry. Uh, yes. Until they order from their friend. Yep. Yeah, that's what. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right. Now last week, um, just so y'all can make sure they're in your account. The two winners of the credits from Cliff were Amanda Hopper and Ashley Rasmussen. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, they Cliff said those credits were deposited into your accounts. If they were not, just message me. Um, and then for today's drawing, the hundred dollar drawing, um, Kelsey Stosser, you're winning a hundred dollars. So send me a message and I'll Venmo or PayPal that to you. I decided that since we have a pretty good turnout today, I'm going to do a second drawing and that's going to be for $50 in credits. And that's going to go to Suzanne Haygood. So Suzanne, send me a message on Facebook um, and let me uh, text me your, actually I have your, um, I just had a moment. Y'all this detox. Okay. I actually have your uh, cloud promoter number. So I'll just send those in there, but you can still message me. Okay. All right, guys, we still have, what's today? The 20th. We still have nine days left in the month. February is a short month, but February has been off to a great start. And we have an extra day in February this month. So run, 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 do the things. This is your reminder that you still can do this. This is your reminder that this, if you're on this Zoom, you're here for a reason. If somebody invited you to the Thrive Experience and you're a promoter, you have the product in your hand, you're here for a reason. So don't tell yourself that you're not good enough to do all the things these other people are doing. You are here for a reason and a purpose. And that's not only to change your life, your future, your family's life, your future, but it's also to help other people feel better and change their future. You have that power in your hands. Don't be selfish with it. Don't keep it all to yourself. Go talk about it. Go tell people about it. Spread the Thrive Love, okay? All right, that is it. We are ending early. Um, Morales was never able to get on, so that is okay. Um, oh, I know, Thrive Palooza. If you have not bought your ticket, if you have not figured out how to get to Thrive Palooza, guys, I'm telling you, you have to get there. You have to go. Like, this isn't, oh, just go because of rah-rah. No, I have never, ever, ever met a promoter that has gone to Thrive Palooza and then said, oh, I wish I hadn't gone. They've never regretted going. Um, every single promoter I know that has gone to Thrive Palooza has come back and said, holy crap, I'm so ready. Holy moly, let's go. You know, so, and they've learned more things. Um, apparently there's gonna be some more bombs dropping. Every year they do something, right? They announce something, they drop something. And it's time to run when we leave there. So we're running now all the way to Thrive Palooza. And then we're going to run when we get back. Um, go talk to your teams. Road trip together. Do a hotel. Get get an Airbnb that's cheaper. Pack everybody up in, in air mattresses. Whatever you have to do. Make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. What, like the, There is a way if you think outside the box. Okay? Get going. Race that go. I can't wait to see you there. All right. Bye, y'all.